Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're gonna to give a quick overview on seriously simple podcasting and alternatively their hosted service over at Castos. And castos.com, I always say Castos, might be Castos. I always say OS because I think of operating systems, so I always wanna say CastOS, but <laughs> Castos, Castos, you can get it at castos.com. And it's podcasting, hosting, made just for you. If we check out the pricing, you can see it starts out at 19 bucks a month for their entry-level features, and then goes all the way up to $49 a month, depending on what you need. But the meat of it is a seriously, seriously simple podcasting plugin, which you can use on your WordPress website for free to host your own podcast using the storage um, directly associated with your web hosting. And then it plays, puts a nice little uh, media player in there so you can embed your plays and it'll just serve up that media asset uh, directly from your uh, media gallery. Now, a couple things at play here. Number one, there's a lot of choices when it comes to hosting podcast files, right? There's some well-known uh, big players in the game like Libsyn, which have been around forever. There's a bunch of other alternatives that are paid. And then there's things like Anchor.fm, which I actually host a smaller show on, uh, the randomshow.net. And uh, that's a great platform. It's free. It does a lot of what Seriously Simple Podcasting does and more. The only caveat there is it's owned by Spotify. So we never know what's going to happen to those large, um, you know, corporate, corporate influenced platforms. Whereas something like a Seriously Simple Podcasting paired up with a Castos, you know that, look, for the near future, Castos is just doing podcasting. You're paying for that hosting. There's no corporate influence. Uh, and your platform will never change on you. So you never just know when you have these free platforms and what they're going to do uh, to modify how you host or share or get subscribers or listeners, that kind of thing. So let's just take a look at Castos from behind the scenes. Again, just a brief overview. I'm going to show you my We Are Here podcast. It's a local podcast that I do. Uh, but it's very simple, easy to use, user interface. There's nothing crazy going on. Uh, once you create the podcast, you can edit that podcast or just see all of the shows um, that you have uploaded uh, into your particular podcast with the cover images, the titles, and you can go to direct links like uh, the iframe embed uh, or the actual statistics of, uh, of an episode. But if I just go into the individual shows, you can see I title it, I can put in a summary, I can upload the media file right from here, give it the whole series, keywords, all that fun stuff. Um, and of course, the episode image, it'll do all of the stuff of calculating the time and then send it out to iTunes, Spotify, uh, and all of the other major platforms. Now, I use Castos with my local podcast in an unconventional way. I started off just uploading files directly here. I didn't have a website when I first launched the, the episodes. Um, and then I moved over to a WordPress website. But you can see, very straightforward. You don't even have to have a website to uh, host your podcast. If you, don't, if you don't want to spend the time putting a marketing page together like I did in the beginning, you can just use Castos directly to go right to your uh, major platforms. And again, it integrates with uh, now Spotify, which I just launched this, <laughs> this podcast on la last week. Um, and it can do some YouTube integrations, which is really cool. But even for this podcast, I don't have that set up yet. Stats, which is really the most important thing when it comes to, of course, the reliability of your hosting. You can see here, this is a small podcast. I've been doing it now for about 12-ish episodes. I got about 7,000-ish downloads uh, or listens, and I can kind of go through and just see which ones are leading the pack over a course of given time. I can see what the listening methods are, and then I can see what uh, the geographical stats are uh, for this particular podcast. So, very straightforward, very clean, doesn't get in the way, and it's just been reliable. Like I haven't had to, you know, wonder if everything's being delivered on time. As soon as I uh, publish an episode, they're out there. So nothing crazy going on. And again, my workflow is I upload the podcast here because I never made the connection uh, when I launched the website. And then what I do is I come into my blog posts, which is where I upload the uh, podcast media asset. And I just come right in here. I upload the file to the media gallery. I select it. Uh, and again, now with the Seriously Simple podcasting plugin activated, I can just drop in the uh, short code anywhere I want right into my post. And of course, with Gutenberg, I kind of reposition it around, move it around, that kind of thing. Using the short code block, I just drop in SS player, and that'll uh, embed the, uh, the media file right there uh, on the website. And I can just play it right here. 
Of course, it comes with these predefined links, which I'll show you in a second over in the settings. And on the Matt Report podcast, um, I do things slightly different. I have it styled a little bit differently. Uh, the styles in, that I have on this Beaver Builder site just give it a different look and feel. And I have these bigger download file and play in new window buttons uh, so that whenever I embed this, it'll show up looking like this and just sort of take up the entire content area. So slightly different than sort of the default options there. Okay. And when I go into the settings for Seriously Simple Podcasting, sorry, that's right over here. I can assign it which uh, post types I want it to appear on. Um, I can include the media player locations to not show up in the excerpt, for example, uh, or have it show up in the excerpt uh, in this example. Media player position below content or above content. By default, if you don't use the short code, it'll drop it in below or above uh, the content using WordPress hooks. So um, that's also an option. And media player in, uh, visibility available to everyone or only logged in users. So if you're doing like a membership site or something like that, uh, you could have that audio content sort of gated to, uh, to just your logged in users. And then some of the other things that are more important to the actual media player, uh, the style uh, and the colors, right? These are just a few options you have to sort of play with uh, the styling uh, of all of this stuff. Now, I don't have any of the hosting integrated with uh, this particular site at the moment, uh, but you can do some things like import from other uh, podcasting solutions that are out there. Um, and then they have uh, a few extensions that you can use to pull this stuff into your WordPress website, like the simple stats that we looked at uh, hosted over on castos.com. Um, the transcripts, there's an integration where it will automatically transcribe the podcast for you. Uh, it is a paid service, but it's pretty affordable and pretty cool if you want to just bring it in. And this seriously simple speakers one, this is not one that I've done, I've used or enabled before, uh, but effectively what it's doing is if you have some unique host per episode, you can use it to have a nice little styled call out uh, for your uh, speakers there. Uh, as you know, as a co-host or just guests that you're bringing on uh, to the show. So uh, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. And again, I'm a huge fan of Castos because it's, again, seriously simple. Like it literally takes that name and strips out all of the complexity that other uh, WordPress uh, podcasting plugins have uh, sort of baked into all of their options and everything going on with them. And it makes it dead simple. Uh, and then what it'll also do is give me a nice clean interface to upload uh, and look at stats over on the Castos uh, website. And that just makes it, again, super easy for me to understand what's going on with you know, my podcast, my stats, that kind of thing. It just plays really well with WordPress and I love it. Uh, super simple, super clean, and it just gets out of the way and lets me create content, which is what I really like. So seriously simple plugin, seriously simple podcasting plugin, Paired up with Castos, it's a great pairing for your WordPress and podcasting site. Use it with or without WordPress. Totally up to you. It's PluginTut.com. PluginTut.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you want more, subscribe to the channel. Share it with friends and family. We'll see you in the next video.